with a New York State Alchemist and Monkey Boy 44. All right, so he literally doesn't play any of the characters we have. We're gonna have another Aegis over here right now. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! All right. Here we go. Oh, the, the, it's much louder. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even notice. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much the same as like on the previous match. We're gonna have like Snake um, one. He's kind of a zoner, kind of, right? Uh, I would say uh, he's like a little mixed bag because he has yeah. you know grenades and everything, but his C4 is also just like a, a stationary projectile. Yeah. So it's you know he and he, but he also has like a really oh I'm surprised he didn't go for uh, up air or up tilt, but Snake has like the a good few melee attacks as well that are really strong. So it's up tilt, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think he's, he's a good yeah. little mix of both. Like right, right now, right there. The stage control. This is where the left press begins, and yep. Oh, that was pretty. Really pretty from New York State Alchemist right there. And full slowly in the dash attack is kind of sort of placing as It's actually pretty good against blocking grenades, as things like to do when they're holding it. All right, good. I'm still actually not trading with the grenade. I'm trying to see. Oh, C4 on the Pokeball. What's up? Oh, are they right? Oh. Sorry, what's going? What? what? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Now I'm now I'm good. All right. But yeah, we got um. If you just miss it, a uh, snake on an up tilt. And all right, so this is where snake really shines in any match in particular when he gets the lead. Yep, yeah, I'll just manage we're gonna take it. Alright, here we go. We have both of both players as uh, their second stock right now. And, uh, you know, New Year's Day Alchemist has a really good amount of extra credit for himself against Monkey Boy 64. Oh, 64. 44. And all he has to do is, is, is do what he's doing right now. You know, use a lot of Saints grenades and just ov overall. Project that was in order to kind of keep Pyra and both both Mithra and Pyra at bay. Because once they come in, cl in close contact with Snake, it's pretty much going to be a really, really fast game uh, for New York State Alchemist. Yeah, Snake not having the best disadvantage state in the world. Mm -mm. And um, Ada's really capitalizing on disadvantage. Exactly, so Snake absolutely has to stay in advantage as much as he can. Alright, oh, actually missing the leg right there on the blazing end. And down air, what are you going to do? Um, so yeah, I haven't seen many of the, the downer into L-Smash uh, that we've been seeing earlier with other ages. Well, the ages previously. Alright, Grenade is right there. He's really holding shield for a wow. while. Wow, yeah, that, that can be really, really devastating. Oh, dropping shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that was a good play also because um, um, Alchemist was like really low on his shield and got... Yep. Beautiful forward to right there. I'm going back to an even game. We have, uh, I'm surprised I haven't seen too many life-saving options from near to Alchemist with Long. You know, I haven't seen too many C4 explosions. I haven't seen too many of those grenades actually landing as much as I really would like them to. However, it doesn't really matter when they're doing a really good job at kind of outpacing Mithra a little bit. Oof, never mind. I may slow too soon. I may slow too soon. I may slow too soon. Oh no, 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 no. Not like this. Definitely gotta avoid the uh, special right there. See, now he now uh now she's kind of had to resort to a more um far away playstyle. I don't want to say campy, but you know far away playstyle where she has to really capitalize on her distance uh, advantage of or over someone like Pyra and Mithra. Ooh, very very good boy in the down there right there. Oh no, it's not the Yes, yes it will. Definitely will. So I see that Monkey Boy was trying to like mix up his little playstyle for, for like literally the last 10 seconds of that match. Like you see, he tried to go in more t more often than not. You see, because at the beginning of the game, he was just throwing grenades and stuff. All right. So yeah, the shield pressure in, in this segment right here. Yeah, I was really scared they're gonna hold it longer. Mm -hmm. That she was gonna hold it longer, and it was, and her her shoe was gonna completely just just be destroyed right then and there. But no. She just, uh, she's got her sock taken. Yeah, that was actually really good right there. Let's see. 
I, I was loving the distance going on right in that little area before before the game was uh, was gone. It was really good amount of foot, not footsies, but avoiding a lot of the other opponent's uh, moves. Mm -hmm. Snake's just built like that. Snake's a, a thick man, flexible man, gymnastic man. All right, so we're gonna run a bag of PS2. Wow, wow, straight, very aggressive. Straight for this side, my fault. That's gonna be a good punish. I've never really seen that. A down air out of field and then to a follow up. Wow. Yeah, wow. Really using the down air out of field. I wonder how, how useful that really is uh, compared to like other Aegis players. I wonder if, how, how they would feel about using down air out of field. But wow, there you go. There you go. There's that, that, that snake advantage that we were talking about earlier. Oh, the pummel's actually gonna make the grenade explode. Oh, watch it. There's the C4 right there. So that was a good pressure. All right, actually getting him doing back here instead of down air. Yeah, they said not gonna take it right there. However, you know, uh, near take Alchemist in a kind of precarious situation, a one percent percent. You know, Snake is a heavy man, heavy, a little bit heavy, but doesn't really matter against Pyra, who will be taking that second stock very easily. If only for that for, for, for percent to their name. Into up, yep, into up, be very punishment. Hanging onto that grenade, letting it explode right in New York's Alchemist's face. I'm, not, I'm actually liking the um, the usage of down down throw to um, up the instead, because like, it's very guaranteed instead of like, um, Snake will usually use his frame one grenade to get out of any kind of combo, but because the up is guaranteed, he will never get that. All right, that's just throwing the grenade the wrong way. Very good keep away game I'm seeing right here. Yeah, I completely agree. This is pretty much a, what I want to see in game one. A lot more of these snake left guard traps, just like that. A lot of these snake left guard traps that only allow uh, Monkey Boy to really do nothing about it. Can't do anything to recover with uh, with um, laser coming in. I'm not laser, missile, missiles coming in whenever they want or however they want. Here we get the double that. And snake actually crouching under. Oh my under. god. This snake. <laughs> snake just crouched under blazing and it was like, yeah, I'm not going to hit by that actually. I'm good. Still keeping up the keep it white games, like you have to come to me, and this is this is where Aegis can um, have a hard time dealing with, especially if they're very telegraphed with their approaches, but actually getting punished at shield. Agreed. And the, the, the problem with letting Aegis use that more aggressive approach is that that's kind of what Aegis does. Yes. Aegis is not afraid of coming in close to you and kind of rocking you. So I, I understand what she's doing. Near the Alchemist. I, know, I know what she's doing, but against Aegis, I don't think it's a smart play. Have, trying to get Aegis off ledge once more is going to be her best bet in order to kind of close out this stock, close out this game actually, and take us to game three. It's a lot of sheer pressure. Right there, but... Again, using a lot of this, this far away uh, play that New York City Aquaman is really trying to capitalize on. Letting go of show in the very last hit of Blazing End. Oh, okay, again, was... trapping him with the Nikita. Blazing in, great placement right there in order to kind of get New York Alchemist off of Monkey Boy when trying to get back on the ledge. Oh, try going for the snake up to twice. Oh! Wow, the grenade actually helping him out right there. The back here coming out a lot quicker than the forward there. That was really close. And there's that up to that hit from behind. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wow, that was that was funky. That was messy. Let's see. We're coming back, Blazing and Nikita. Taking that first stock, yeah. Yeah, you could just see you could just see how um Alchemist is really keeping the space away. Yeah, here we go over to game three, deciding where to go to next. Yeah, I don't think. Nikita. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I don't think they should bring it back to PS2. Personally, they banned uh, Battlefield and they banned Yoshi's Story, as you should. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, things just have a little too much room to like run around and just throw grenades. So we're gonna take it to game three. Where are we going? I typically see this stage a little bit more in Snake's favor because there's less space for people to for him to um I'm sorry. There's more space for him to kinda walk around uh, move around in, in order to place his uh, projectiles, especially C4, which I haven't been seeing yet the Alchemist do that often. Or at least capitalize on the C4. 
I know a lot of things use it as like a fear, um, a fear factor. You know, oh my god, I could go for any second. And I think that's what Nier Echoes kind of has to use against uh, someone like Pyro, who's always on the ground, trying not always on the ground, but is often coming in towards you. Grenade, yep, good wow, follow up beautiful. on the grenade, recognizing that the grenade was about to um, detonate and still at disadvantage. Yep. A huge disadvantage, missing the up air right there and that one as well. Love the little exchange there, no plays the end for a grenade, I got you. Alright, Sang so actually needs to find, find a hit somewhere so that way he can get, get started on his zoning, but. Man, it's a lamb, but it's getting hit on the blazing end anyway. You know, Monkey Boy is absolutely not allowing her to do any of her legendary options. She's at 170 and counting. Refuses to die, but she has never been able to get anything past. Alright, my fault, my fault. I'll get past 20% on Monkey Boy. Oh, is that the grab? Nope. Oh, that's attacking under the blazing end right there. It's having a the left trap and still at disadvantage. Oh, wow. very good. That was really good. Cause that, because cause she's gotten hit. No, he got, he's gotten hit by that many times. Yep, twice. And now, it, it just, just down B. Down B into it. And I, and I mean, I mean up B into it, and it's fine. Oh my god. Foresight and the nah, huh? Really just added to that. Up so? Attempting to fish for it, yeah. Yep. Definitely would, I think it would kill at this percentage anyway against, against uh, Pyra. All right, opting to recover a little higher. C4 on the on the uh, right platform. All right, good choice on that air dodge because that was a meaty quarter for her to your face. Wow, gaining last hit basically Nova right there, not even fully charged up. Ooh, oh my God! Did the pair to actually negate the rest of uh, Pyro's up? It's kind of funny. It, it definitely saw out the hitbox. Wow. Oh, oh. oh. So air dodged. Okay, I see. I see what happened. Unfortunate. Yeah, the attack ability actually um, still detonates the Nikita, but it's actually not getting the hit. But uh, mm -hmm. Monkey Boy not recognizing that air dodging by accident. Did he try to force smash? Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> Here we go. We have the Alchemist going back to a more ledge, uh, ledge keep away play. Really a full sock behind. Trying to go for the double dash attack again. C4. Pyro really good at racking up damage. Oh, very, very quickly. Even just killing early, she's amazing at that. I think it's, it's better to use Pyro against Snake anyway, just because she is a little bit heavier and she has Blazing Ant to kind of negate a lot of Snake's just protect projectile uh, throwing that you know, Alchemist has been doing a lot of. Oh, oh, up air? oh! I was waiting for the up air. That been really nasty. All right, so not a bad spot. Don't drop your shield. Oh, after the grenade trading. And yeah. there's that up there we're talking about. Yep. All right. And the whole set will actually be going over to Monkey Boy 44, who is not even playing monkey. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to see a DK, a Diddy, Nar. I saw Aegis. Again. Yeah, good, good stuff for Monkey Boy. R really, um, really amped up the aggression in that game. I, I believe it's because of the Sage also. Small Battlefield being a smaller Sage overall.